Hi, my name's Paul Browning. I've uh, passed the CompTIA Network Plus, A Plus, and a few Cisco exams and Microsoft exams over the years. So I wanted to talk you through how to pass your CompTIA Network Plus certification. I'm guessing I'm recording this late 2025, so I'm guessing most of you will aim for 2026. But um, if it's later or if it's uh, late 2025, the rules still apply and all my advice is still valid. So I'm sure you've heard about the Network Plus. It's pretty much the premier certification exam for network engineers, budding network engineers, and anyone who's interested in a career in IT generally. Now, I know you've heard of the A+, but that's more for desktop support, help desk support, which is a career a lot of people aren't particularly interested in because of the low pay and unsociable hours. So the Network Plus is aimed at people in the network support team. If you want to be an installation engineer, operations, you can even do Wi-Fi and network design. So I passed the exam. According to CompTIA, you need to get 720 points out of 1,000. They don't tell you which questions have got how many points, so it isn't just one question, one point. Some harder questions will have multiple correct answers and you get more points, and then you've got practical tests, which can have um, even more points or less or none. You just don't know, so don't worry about it. The exam's 90 minutes, and you can book it online. If you go to the CompTIA website, they'll tell you where to book it. All right, so how to learn. Basically, the minimum you need is a good quality study guide, which you can buy new or secondhand, or there's online study guides. I'll show you uh, my, my online free guide in a minute. I also have a free Network Plus course here, and I'll put a link in the description. You need some practice exams. That's an important tool. You have to practice everything you learned by um, simulating the exam environment. Also, you need access to software to practice for the performance-based questions. So these are the hands-on tests that are in the exam. All righty, so your daily plan, you're going to allow for about two months roughly, if you've got around two hours per day. Do a study session for theory, do a practice exam, do a hands-on lab, um, over roughly 90 minutes to two hours a day, and then enjoy the rest of the day doing whatever you want to do. Okay, so for progress, don't worry how long it takes you. Some people are going to be super quick. Some people are going to take longer. We're all different and we all start from a different um, uh, foundation. Your three learning methods that we all learn by is a visual. So you learn by watching a video. Sorry. You learn by watching a video or reading a book. Audio, probably better to have an audio book or listen to a video presentation. The kinesthetic part is hands-on, so this also helps you learn your different protocols and technologies. All right, so download the syllabus. I say download the syllabus from CompTIA. It looks like they no longer let you download uh, some of these syllabus. I tried for the Network Plus. I'll add the link in the description. I've put a, a version online into a spreadsheet. Don't ask for access, just copy it and have it on your own Google account. Uh, you have two columns, which I'll show you in a moment, one for your theory knowledge and one for your practical, and then you score those out of 10. The syllabus start at the very first item and then work your way down, generally tackling one topic per day. If it's easy, you can do two or three, obviously. All right, so I've already said this, your score each item out of 10. So some you will start off with one or two, and some you'll know a little bit more about possibly, and then you can score that five or six, and then eventually you want to get each topic to at least nine or ten. And then do a daily practice exam every day. Don't wait till just before you take the exam to start doing practice exams. Are you ready to take the exam? All the items on the syllabus that you will have imported into your Google uh, Sheets will be at least a nine or ten out of 10. Your practice exams, you'll have a 95% score every time and ensure all of the practical items can be labbed up. So from memory, you can configure whatever the networking protocols or software, uh, software is. And then be consistent. It's a gradual process, so don't expect you're going to get everything done in one week. 
I've got a lot of freebies. I'll uh, show you a couple of websites in a moment. Howtonetwork.com has got members uh, area with the Network Plus. It's also got lots of freebies. And also 101labs.net has got practical hands-on labs for the um, CompTIA exams as well as many others. All right, so here is the Network Plus syllabus. This is copyright CompTIA. And um, you should be able to download it from CompTIA, but they appear to have removed that uh, facility from the uh, website. If you can download it from the current CompTIA website, then put a comment and tell us where you found it because I can't see um, that you can do it anymore. So these are the domains that are covered in the exam now. Tr um, network concept, concepts, implementation, operation, security, and troubleshooting. And it gives you a percentage roughly of what you're going to see in the exam, give or take. Now, these are all the main topics in the syllabus. So networking concepts is broken down into further subdomains here. So what I'm going to do up here, in fact, I'll do it here. I'll put theory and I'll put um, practical. So some of these things obviously can't be labbed up. Uh, for example, the OSI model, you can't really lab up. You, you can do something with Wireshark and look at the layers. So you may say, for example, uh, practical NA. My knowledge of the OSI uh, model is, for example, 4 out of 10. Or you can just put 4 because you know it's out of 10. So you go through each of these items. I'll study for day one the OSI model. I'll do a practice exam. I'll maybe do something with Wireshark, looking at the uh, different layers, and then um, do the theory. If you can find a practice exam just on the OSI, it might be tricky. Um, speaking of which, if you go to howtonetwork.com, free IT training, there's free IT exams. And then um, TCPIP is all under, underneath the um, CompTIA, also the CompTIA Network Plus. So I click on that and there'll be one or two exams. And then you can take the questions. We've got 90 questions on this exam. All right. If you want to do some studying, I've got a Network Plus online study guide. This is for a previous version of the exam, around 70%. Um, of what's in the current exam is covered in my uh, book here. So none of this has changed. So I mentioned the OSI model, for example. None of this has changed in the last uh, 10, 15 years. So this is everything you need to know about the OSI layer, the TCP layer, all the encapsulations, and so on. So you can enjoy that at your leisure. Now for practical um, testing download cisco packet tracer for free there's many other tools you can use and say for example you wanted to practice dhcp you'll drag different items up from packet tracer there's a free tutorial on the cisco website and uh, for example uh, services i'll go to dhcp and then i'll configure my dhcp settings here i won't cover it now because there's a, a bunch of videos on my on youtube channel and a website showing you how to do this so i'll configure my dhcp server my pc i'll configure to get an ip address via dhcp and then i can see this all happening you can even um capture packets for dhcp um on packet tracer so that's pretty much it. You keep going through all of these topics until you get every topic area to roughly nine or 10 out of 10 for both columns. So for your practical and your theory, do a practice exam every day until um, you achieve 95% or more. And then I'll say you are ready for the CompTIA Network Plus. If you've got any questions, drop them in the um, comment section down here and I log in every day and I will answer them to the best of my ability. And best of luck.